was 26 years old and I thought I need to be in a really good Formula One car before I'm 30, which sounds crazy today. But that was my goal to, uh, you know, be a, to get to Formula One and uh, needed to be in a good car so that I, my career would go somewhere. Didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but I kind of achieved the initial part of my ambition and my plan, you know, of getting from zero to get, get into Formula One. I always wonder what it'd be like, you know, when you first got in a racing car and you think, you know, they go so fast down the straight and, you know, you've got to go around the corner, how you'd judge on it. That period of, uh, you know, where the racing was, you know, considerably dangerous. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but that invariably opened up positions. In 81, when I ran at Indy and finished third at Indy, Porsche phoned me because Rick Mears was going to drive for the middle of Le Mans. And Rick got burnt at, in a pit stop uh, accident. So from 1981 until they stopped in 1989, I was a Porsche Works driver there. We led the race for 19 hours. And um, there were no team orders, but we expected them, them to perhaps come to us and say, look, uh, it was going to be Jackie X. I think it may have been his fifth win if he'd won the race. And fifth or sixth, something like that. So there was this, you know, if they come along and say, look, you know, we want Jackie to win, um, what do we do? Because at that time we had, you know, quite a good lead. And Jackie said, no, you shouldn't ask those guys to, to give the race to us because they've, you know, we're led strongly. And so I thought that was uh, really cool. And Jackie was that kind of guy anyway. So we, you know, we actually, uh, we drove, drove to win that race right from right where we were going. The car I saw at my first motor race, um, 1955 at Port Wakefield. Uh, Mum and Dad took my sister and I to the Grand Prix and uh, I've never forgotten that race with Jack Brabham winning it and the Bobtail Cooper. Reg Hunt was the favourite in the 250 Maserati and then Doug Whiteford in the Sky Blue Lago Tower but those three cars have always stuck in my mind. Ron said I'm going to sell the car, I've had, I'm 80 years old and uh, I'm about to turn 80 and uh, I've had 10 great years and we've made a deal a year ago and this weekend's the first time I've driven it. Yeah, I still pinch myself that it's, uh, I'm in Doug Wiper's logo town, but. <laughs> I've loved my career and uh, just feel pretty privileged, <laughs> pretty lucky. Had a family that supported me with my Jennifer and the kids and we all had a good time. <laughs>